All right. We are live. Hi. Hello, everybody around the world. Thank you for joining us today. This is the International Art Alliance, and my name is Ross Berman. I am Zooming in or Googling meeting in or Facebook living in or whatever kind of platform we're on today from Los Angeles, yeah. California. California. I have an echo, which is deliciously gray and cold today. It's like I'm in a cavern. It's so cool. And then also today we have from around the world, also in the west coast of North America, Rose Williams, who's in British Columbia, Vancouver, British Columbia. Of order. You can see some of her gorgeous artwork in the background. I'm going to have to find out more about what Rose has been up to. I think Rose has been up to a lot of different things lately. And um, going east, uh, next in line, we have Stephanie McLean, who's also running our technology department today. Thank you, Stephanie. And Stephanie's calling in or meeting in from Toronto, Canada. Mm -hmm. Everything froze except me. Now I'm frozen too. Um. Okay, I get it. Ease of use. Here now, here's Stephanie. Can you hear us now? Can you see us now? now? I can hear. I didn't even go out. Yes. You guys yeah. all left. And you came back. Yeah. Everything was still frozen. <laughs> 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 when it unfroze, there you were. It was like magic. Here we are. Yeah. Are. Like, but me, everything just went black. Oh. Oh. <laughs> wow. I just said well, I lost that net, a network connection or something. I don't know. So it might be due <laughs> really to the weird. snowstorm that Rose was just talking about. She said it snowed for. No, what did you say? 12, 12? No, it snowed in, in Vancouver because we don't have the preparations. And also because we have a lot of bridges and tunnels, ah. people got stuck for 12 hours in oh their cars. Oh, oh my God. God. Awfully long time. It, it, there was buses and everybody were sliding down hills ah. into each other. It's just been a... Uh, um, it's, uh, the snowmageddon they like to call it here out in bc um so who knows it's the the karma was talking to like the google meet and it was happening like, you know, like Maybe. Was <laughs> let's be stuck in the car let's have a little empathy with the people stuck in the car well, by it freezing was, our meeting it was terrible and uh, yeah ter lots of empathy going out for everybody who had to suffer through that ordeal and um Everybody be careful because it's supposed to be freezing rain again today. So stay home. Oh, yeah. good well, Lord. So unusual for this part of the world too. Well, we are living in a different, a different world. And that's part of the reason why we're doing the project that we're doing, right? Because this is a different world. How we met, how we met was in a Zoom context, a Zoom meeting where we were uh, meeting as a bunch of artists to talk about our work and find out how we can talk about our, really, literally how we can talk about our work because that's kind of the hardest thing sometimes is to talk about what we're doing. And so we met online over a year ago. Was it two years ago? I don't really know the date. A year and a half, I think. A year and a half, half ago was it 2020, right? Yeah. yeah. So it was pretty 20, close to 21? No, 2020. I'm sorry. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah we're it's, echo. It's, it's time. 
Can't hear you, Denise. You're muted. You're muted. Huh? <laughs> Sorry. Lara, when you're not speaking, can you turn off, uh, can you mute yourself? Because there's an echo coming from your end. Mm, I don't have anything uh, uh, open, just uh, the mic uh, for to talk here. Yeah, no, it's because you're not wearing earbuds. So just mute yourself if you're not talking. I don't have the, I don't have the ear, the airport. It's okay. Just mute yourself when you're not talking. Then it's off. I, I can mute. Simple. Mute. She she fell asleep. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> oh, sorry, Lara. Sorry, you were frozen like this. <laughs> oh. Well, this is this is uh, more of a like a, a comedy. This yeah, this week's episode. <laughs> comedy of errors. I just heard a smoke alarm in my unit here. Oh no! Just to let you know. Perfect. Thank you, Lara. <laughs> And Stephanie, uh, one other technical thing. Can you close that uh, secondary window that is open on your screen where it says who is in the meet? Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Continue. Wow. Sorry for the interruption. No problem. Thank you for straightening, straightening it out. Can we cut this part out? Can you hear the chirp? Okay. Are, are we going to cut this part out anyways? We're just going to roll on. This is live. Hi, <laughs> folks. I have to go check and see if there's something going on 10 feet away. You'll have to excuse me. This looks okay. this feels so weird. That's okay. fine. I'll take, take over. Take, take over for a second. Okay. <laughs> sure. So uh, let's just do a quick, oh while we are waiting for us to come back, let's just do mm. a quick uh, roundabout to see where everybody's at. Because uh, I know um, my painting is uh, that I pa painted is on its way to Cheryl in the uh, in Australia. Uh, Stephanie, how are you doing with the painting that you started? It's right here. Um, I have it all packaged, but I was thinking that I would either I haven't had a chance to video the packaging of it, so I was thinking maybe I would package it on air. But then I'm looking around and thinking, where am I going to do that? Like physically. <laughs> So, well, that's where it is. So, um, worst case scenario, okay. I'll get the video done tomorrow and ship it out. Perfect. And Rose, how are you doing? Because I know you've started over. Uh, I, I, um, <clears throat> I'm, I think I'm okay with it. I'm looking at it right now. I've been talking <laughs> to you. <clears throat> but um, I had forgotten my light set up, so I wanted to film myself putting it in the box. So I'm sort of separated. So uh, I'm going to actually ask uh, somebody to just hold the camera for me today <laughs> and just film me. It's easier sometimes, it isn't it? Yeah. Awesome. So that will happen and Ross. today. Nice. Yes. And Ross, so I, how are you doing with that? Uh, with the painting that well, you? Well, I'm, uh, I'm uh, perilously slow, but <laughs> I've solved some of the problems with it, and I found two new materials that are going to get me over the finish line so yeah. nice yeah. nice yeah. yay thank you for very you, good do you feel inspired by that sort of materials kind of solution well i i've that that's it was more like um how am i going to do the thing that that i want to do oh right. so i needed to find the materials that were going to let me do it it was more like the, the other way around like yeah, i had yeah. inspiration cool. and then yeah wait so, so that's great when that works out sometimes yeah for sure I'm just I hoping I'm not going to burst into flames today. This is just so creepy. <laughs> Ross, can you feed your darn parrot? I mean, <laughs> is it is it a single beep? Because it sounds like a battery. That's yeah, it's, it's, yeah. It's, yeah. It, but they're all hooked up by electricity, so I guess it's a backup battery. Okay. Oh. Well, um, did you did you find out we, if we have unboxing today? Has anybody got anything to show yet? No, I don't think so. I think my box is uh, it has. Is arrived at Cheryl's, but Cheryl is uh, riding no. her bike across Australia right now. Right. So I don't think oh, she gosh. brought it. <laughs> gosh, I hope she's Can't blame her. Laura back. Oh, Hi, Laura. Hi. Okay. Now, can you hear me? Yes. Okay. So far, so good. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope that Cheryl also sends some pictures of her of her travels because 
She's been I mean, hosting. She's been she? hosting and they are fabulous. It's amazing Australian landscape photography that is like yeah. being provided yeah. on her feed. <clears throat> so oh Cheryl Wilcox on what, on Facebook? Yeah, yeah. W and, Instagram. and Instagram. And honestly, Instagram. she posted a photo of a eucalyptus tree that had my little botanical heart beating, Aww. fluttering. Like I literally got like excited. I was like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> cause I had never seen like that kind of eucalyptus flower. Like, and it was just like, oh, oh. anyways, <laughs> can't describe how it feels. <laughs> Oh, yeah, she's also doing these really cool sketches uh, yeah. on the road, which is really cool. Very she does good. really good line art. She's a really great yeah. sketch artist. Well, yeah. She, yeah, she is a fine, fine draftsperson. I person. think she's able yeah. to convey how much she enjoys doing it in her sketches. Yeah. You know, like when you see it, it's like, oh, she really enjoys this, you know? It's yeah. Like, well, <laughs> she takes the love where, where you live philosophy really seriously. Yeah. You know, that really yeah. is what she's about. Yeah. Somebody said, yeah. what is that? Um, why? Like why she does what she does? Because she really loves where she lives. She loves her country and the countryside and, and, and Rose, like you, the, the plants, because that's mostly what she paints, right? These marshlands yeah. and And the sea, the ocean. Sea. She's, a, she's an ocean lover as well, you know? And, and I, I think you're right. It's a really beautiful manifestation of how much she does love the landscape. She's literally riding her bicycle with her partner across mm the landscape and stuff <laughs> to really enjoy and appreciate it on a very intimate level. Mm -hmm. That's so cool that she can ride across the country with her family. It's like, I don't think I could, I love my family. We love each other, but I don't think we could do that together. <laughs> I just head off after the first day. <laughs> um, so we've got, we've got uh, master pack packages in, in the, in the, the flow that might have arrived at Cheryl, Cheryl's from Denise, and we've got our beautiful master pack boxes waiting for us to ship our paintings around the world. And this is one aspect of our palimpsest conversation, right? Where, where at the end, at the end piece of our own activity, we send it to somebody else, and that's what makes the palimpsest. Somebody else will, one of one of us will make more marks on that same thing. And somebody said to me, oh, it's like a chain letter. And it's like, well, not really. Why is it not like a chain letter? It's because we're collaborating. That was my answer. Maybe you guys have a different answer. <laughs> and also because we're not like distributing it to seven different people who then right, tell seven right. different people and seven different, you know what I mean? Right. It's not like a pyramid kind of thing. It's well, very. Also, it's not a, 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 a designated format. Our only designated format is the shape and size of the panel. And right, and then we we tap into the intention that we've somebody has started with, and then we keep going, and we have an overarching theme for each of our paintings, and then we go with that as we arrive. And I was thinking, like, okay, I'm, I think I'm a little bit older than all you guys. I know that for a fact. But um, so when when I was going to school, it wasn't like people did their own work we didn't work that much in groups but i know when my daughter went to school it was like everything's in a group like everything and i remember from my own experience working in groups was you know a little challenging to put it mildly sometimes completely infuriating and um <laughs> often frustrating and you know maybe on the on the mild end you you'd cut you'd have well on the really good end right you come together and you'd present something that was really great. And, and my experience with our group, the International Art Alliance and this project, the Palimpsest Project, really to a T, even the things that don't work are like still working. And there are very few things that I think that we found and it's like, eh, we could have done that differently. Every single thing has some kind of a, a way forward, even, even within the, our own processes. So I'm wondering how has working in a group, collaborating, how, has, how have your preconceived notions um, influenced what, what we're doing? And um, have, has your mind changed about collaborative work or has this been especially different collaboratively than other times? Um, yeah, with, 
Was that a good question, a clear question? That is a good question. Stephanie's got a, got a cool answer. She's excited to talk about it. <laughs> um, for me, I, I always actually dreaded collaborative, collaborative work in school. Um, not so much like, you know, not in theater and stuff, because that's all about collaboration, right? But in school, because I found that there was always someone doing more of the heavy lifting and that someone was often me. <laughs> um, and then when it wasn't me, I felt so bad for the person doing all the heavy lifting that I was always trying to help and just, it just, I don't know. But um, with our group, I mean, I, I do, you know, Denise does a lot of the, you know, a lot of the, the, the helping us move forward, right? She really does. Um, a lot of the a lot of the heavy lifting. Um, personality wise, though, and project wise, I really enjoy it. It's it's so cool to work with you guys, right? Like to to see what these amazing artists who all have you know at least ten years of experience have 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 created. Like they've made their mark, and for me to just receive this and enjoy it, I'm just it's it's uh it's wonderful and. Of course, meeting all of you and knowing all of you and like getting to really have, you know, develop feelings for all of you. It's been a great, uh, a great journey. <laughs> oh, thank you, Stephanie. You mentioned something that honestly, it's so simple and I hadn't considered it is the enjoyment factor of when the work comes in, this, this reveal that we do, we get to see, you know, I mean, it's like really touching each other in a, a more intimate Oh, that sounds so dirty. I don't mean it like that. But <laughs> <laughs> no, don't stop. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that we get to know each other in this certain kind of kind of way that it, it is a very intimate process. It creates connection. It's it a way connection. that, that, that yes. deepens human connection. And for me. I started in music and drama when I was young. I mean, I was drawing and doing photography, yes, but my focus, I played the trombone in the jazz band. I really, we'd, we'd spend our lunch times doing it because we'd get that, that high that you get when you're with other people and you're creating something together. And you do really, there's a, a certain kind of like alpha vibration that happens when human beings combine together to create. And then in drama, when it worked well and you were in a play and everybody was doing their part, it was like, you, you'd almost feel like, well, like the healing part of expressive arts. But I got let down a couple of times on stage. That uh -oh. was so devastating. I mean, one time we were like full on costume, makeup, play, audience and my my acting partner delivered me a line that was like three lines after what he was supposed to say Rats. <laughs> yeah yeah and i was like standing there on the stage like a deer in the headlights trying to figure out how to fill that dialogue in to my line and i did it but it was not a good experience <laughs> and then it happened another time and i honestly i got disillusioned like Stephanie said, you know, there's a certain level of collaborating sometimes that you can get to solution that you were the only one that learned your lines, right? I mean, it's very, it's like, you know, you're out there like naked out on a limb and you, you know, somebody else didn't learn their lines. That yeah. is the sort of negative. But so I decided I turned into a painter and a photographer and, 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 and I honestly, I went into solo arts consciously at that stage in my life. But with you guys doing this project in particular, I am finding that it's really raising the positive qualities of that kind of group, creating something together where we literally, I'm like, even though we're not in the same room, I think my, like my alpha waves change when I open that and I get that reveal and I just kind of like go deep into like everybody else's process as revealed in the palimpsest. It's, mm -hmm. it's mm -hmm. kind of like, a, I don't know, like almost I'm, I'm going to cry because it's really a very touching and poignant on a level that I didn't expect mm. for me personally. Mm -hmm. oh, I yeah, I, I feel that. that your question, Ross, is very twofold. Because on the one hand, there's what both Stephanie and Rose 
talked about that experience of working in a group and knowing that there are always people who uh, pull the cart and people who maybe not so much. And uh, me being a super uh, organized person, I tend to jump in and do a lot of the work. And there are frustrations there that sometimes uh, bubble up to the surface. But on the other hand, there's the creative side of the, of this project. And that is so fulfilling and so freeing for me artistically, more so than I would have expected. Because, because uh, when, uh, I, when I, I've, I've done, done clever work, work before, before and I am always very, uh, of course, Sorry, um, I can only hear, so I'm the only one showing up in the sound. Um, and I think it's because my, oh, there we go. Okay, okay, there, now that's, okay, well, that might have been the problem. Hang on a second. Okay, can someone talk? No, okay, so it's still, yeah, I'm still the only one that everyone can hear, but it might be on my end because my um, earbuds uh, cacked out and now, no, but now I'm, it should be fine. Okay. Weird. So I'm speaking. I can I can see the host on. Can you hear anything, Denise? Can you hear them? Yeah. Oh, no, uh, but I just, I just, I literally just did that in Google Chrome. So weird. You mean, okay, settings. Okay, so I'll get out of here then. I'll go to, oh, speakers. Oh, you know what? No, you're right. Uh, sorry. Okay, let's see here. Okay, there we go. Okay. As we were. <laughs> yes. Great. Okay. As we were. Are you close to the window? You were talking about two, the two different aspects and you were saying that the creative collaborative part of this was fulfilling. Yes. And I think that's kind of where we left off with you. Yes. Yeah, I was saying that uh, particularly the creative part is very fulfilling because uh, it is so separate uh, from the work that I normally do. And I know that when we started it, each of us and every one of us had the idea of we would receive this painting and we, we'd insert our Stephanie-ness or Denise-ness or Ross-ness in there and we would do our, our thing to it. And as it turns out, after having done all these test paintings, I think after the, the, doing the second or the third one, I figured out, and I think each and every one of us has, that it's not necessarily inserting your own thing in there but catering to what the painting needs which means that you get to the freedom of stepping completely outside of your own artistic uh, practice and techniques and the way even the way you would approach something um, normally you get to, to step away from that and just do something creative that um, helps the painting grow Hmm. Oh, beautifully expressed. Yeah, yeah. That's, it's true. There is sorry, I, I, I've already gone. But, um, it's true. There is something very satisfying, right, about being able to not do what you do all the time in your own art, but like, like do something else. Like these, you know, the marks that are on this painting, they inspire us to do something that's maybe not what we would usually do. Like for me, like I don't usually use little blue gemstones right that I put on on the painting that Ross started and you know Lara might not do little gold dots on all her paintings so it's just I don't know it's it's a fun it's a really fun project. Uh, I would like to say just a few words because I have to go and uh, it's uh, that uh, when we start this uh, journey uh, to be honest I thought that it would be 
shorter and probably I expected different things from uh, this project. And um, it comes out that I learn, uh, uh, first of all, I usually I don't like uh, collaboration. I don't like to work with other people <laughs> because I have my own time and I, um, I, I, I don't have, uh, um, I, I don't like uh, to have like, um, for example, I don't, I don't do commission. I don't like to do commission because I don't like to uh, have to deliver something in uh, one day. I want to be free to, to deliver when I feel that I'm ready to deliver it. So I, I paint only what I like to paint and when I, I like to paint. So uh, what I learned from this, uh, so first of all, it, it, I thought that it would be very uh, a shorter period and it's almost two years that uh, we are, uh, uh, the, the, the experience is um, more than one year, but that we know each other almost two years. So I think that I learned a lot. <laughs> I, I don't change. I didn't change my way how to to do the things because I um, I can't I can't change uh, this part. <laughs> but I learn and uh, and I agree I agree with uh, with uh, Denise what she said about the creative part that it's uh, what uh, fulfill me the most. Because it's uh, really uh, impressive uh, how emotional is every time that uh, um, it's more than uh, it can be expressed because it's a really uh, emotional when we have to or I, is what I feel uh, to to intervene in some in an artwork that pass through other hands and. Uh, also, uh, the approach that I had uh, with the big panel um, was different uh, from the first one because the first one I I paint something that was almost a paint, mm -hmm. and uh, <clears throat> it, uh, for me it's a painting because it's uh, 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 the abstract that I paint that I like to paint. But there is more. Um, thought about uh, uh, the intervention that can be added to from the other person. Mm -hmm. So uh, surely I changed my perspective. And, uh, and from this journey, what I'm uh, uh, receiving the most is the um, uh, from a, like a kind of spiritual part of working with uh, with you mm -hmm. spiritual part wow yeah did not see that coming no me neither yeah well, we're so, so happy you hung in there with us too laura you yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. so I'm, I'm really happy that i know you i i yeah uh, it, it's uh it's a big journey. I hope that it will uh, last for a man, for a long time, and that we can have uh, we can um, build build. Uh, a great. I think that we built in this past period the foundation. So now we are creating. The house. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now, I'm yes. sorry. I have to go because my daughter is waiting for me. I'm really okay. sorry. Thank so, you, Laura. Laura, thank we'll you. See you next week. Keep in touch. Yeah. Bye bye. 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 See bye you. Well, that like was that. fascinating too, right? Like building a house. Yeah. Like we're building six houses. <laughs> yeah. No, but I mean, that ties into how Cheryl keeps having ideas and getting like these these zen kind of inspirations about like oh we can do this and then this would happen and then this would grow to that and 
I think, you know, we're kind of starting to grow, maybe, you know? Mm -hmm. Well, she's also an idea machine, you know? She she's is. just like, she'll just generate she it is. on, you know, oh, I've got a win, here we go, you know? Hang on, yeah, right. I love it. It does, I love it that. does suggest that we're in, in this building, that we're a self-selecting group of timber, you know? Like we had decided <laughs> we're going to kind of build a house and what are we made of? And, you know, we we're like, okay, let, we, we can work together. So it's not like, you know, being like in schools, you're really thrown together, or maybe you get to choose who's in the group, but you know, you didn't get the out, out person in the group. And, you know, there's a different kind of a social dynamic that might work under other kinds of circumstances. And our circumstances are such that we are like, wow, you guys are really good artists. I'd be like completely honored to work with you. That would be amazing. Thank you for asking. Yeah. It's a different, that's a whole different approach, right? And maybe that also <laughs> speaks to the kind of a the spiritual and the enjoyment that um, that you're talking about, Stephanie, and that Laura was talking about. Yeah. Um, so I think we're coming to the end of our time. So uh, thank you for bearing with us in TV <laughs> land with all of our technical <laughs> With our comedy, stuff. comedy little assault. <laughs> Just remember mm -hmm. that the inclement weather may have played an influence and we weren't no. stuck in a tunnel for 12 hours together. <laughs> we had an enjoyable little warm session in our own studios and you sitting on your couch. Yeah. So thank <laughs> you for joining us. Come back again next week. It's We meet on Thursdays online, um, 1230 Pacific, 330 Eastern North America time. And the next morning, Australia time. Next morning, Australia, and eight hours from Western time. So it must be 11 something or other in the UK. And uh, thank you, my friends, for being here, that we could all be together and do this collaborative uh, artwork together. It's really one of the linchpins of my life right now. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for, for everything. Thank you. We Thanks. didn't get to talk about Thank your you. great work at the end, but we got to go. It's time. Yeah. <laughs> Next time, we'll find Stay out more. Stay tuned. <laughs> yes. Okay. Bye. Okay. Bye. Bye. <laughs> it's awkward. Okay. <laughs>